Today we have another interesting adventure ahead as we tackle a hive removal in an unused pool box using our trusty bee vacuum. The method of vacuuming the bees is not only fascinating, but it also ensures the safety of these amazing creatures. It's a pleasant evening again here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Darkness is already upon us and uh, we can hear the gentle hum of the bees in their nest as they have returned from foraging during the day and now they're just keeping that nest nice and warm. We're about to embark on this mission to relocate this entire colony safely. But how exactly are we going to do this? And why do we choose to work under the cover of night? Bees are less active at night, which makes this removal process safer for the bees, safer for us, and also safer for people and pets that are in the proximity close to where we're doing this removal. As we know, the bees always build from the top, and uh, the challenge with this removal is that the bees have not really considered the seam between the lid and the body of this pool pump box. The result of this is that they build across that seam, and we can't just literally pick up the lid without affecting the nest. So I'll lift this side, bring it over here. Bring it over, and then I'll, hopefully there's enough space for me to rest. So you're gonna you're gonna take quite a large portion of this because the nest is right here in the corner. Ideally, what we wanted to do here was we wanted to take this lid and lift it off the box, brace it across two trusses, and then work from beneath the nest with it hanging above us. The white lights to it. Yeah, because they look pretty calm, eh? Yeah. Alright. Alright, comes come off here. Yeah, I've got it. Okay, so we've lifted this lid off now, and as mentioned, the bees have built over the seam of the lid in the box. So we've got about 60% of the nest still attached to the lid, and we then able to proceed as we had planned. However, there was some comb that did uh, drop off and down to the bottom of the box, and we still have a bit of comb that stuck to the side of the box as well. So using our vacuum now, we carefully suck the bees off all of the comb and in the areas where they're starting to cluster. The vacuum is specifically designed with a low suction power to ensure that the bees don't get injured. They are sucked through the tubes that we have into the hive box that we have attached to our custom vacuum. And then this ensures that they can remain safe while we transport them to the apiary to the new hive that's going there. As you know, what we do as well is we do take the brood comb that's in this nest and we'll put it into a hive that will be their new home too. As you're watching this removal, you might uh, be curious about just how many bees are in this nest. A single hive can house anywhere from 20,000 to 60,000 bees, depending on the size and the health of the colony. Um, it's a delicate operation to be able to get as many of the bees as we can to take them to the new nest and this is also one of the reasons why we work at night because the foragers have all returned and everyone is home and we're able to collect as many as possible. There are a few stragglers that will get left behind unfortunately um, but it is a minimal amount when we use the bee vacuum. So the bees are safely uh, in the bee vacuum now and we're able to transport them to their new location. The question on everybody's mind is, will they be successfully relocated? The answer actually lies in how carefully we've handled the bees and it's also crucial that we get them back onto the brood comb as soon as possible. As you've seen in some of my previous videos, I mentioned that the brood needs to be kept at a temperature of between 33 to 35 degrees to survive. And so the quicker we get the bees onto that brood, the quicker they're able to maintain that temperature for the incubation of the larva into a new bee. But by ensuring that they've been moved safely and to a new suitable home, we're giving the best chance for them to thrive. And there you have it, the process of removing bees with our bee vacuum. It's the quickest and the safest method that we use to remove bees. Uh, if you would like to build a bee vac, just like the one that we've been using in this video, then I suggest you take a look at 
a previous video I made on that. Vacuuming the bees allows us to get almost all of the bees at once and working at night also means we do not have to leave the hive box on site for any of the returning foragers. We can head straight to the apiary knowing with confidence that we do not need to return to the site again and these bees will be in their new location uh, with as many workers and nurse bees and the brood that they originally had in their nest which gives them the best opportunity to survive and thrive as a new hive. Hope so.